Hi guys, Mike here and this is the video review for the Dell Vostro 3560. This is a business laptop, it's meant for small businesses and uh, unlike the uh, Inspiron uh, series, it brings a couple of extras. And uh, we're going to have a look at this device, it's fairly new and what we have here is the top configuration for this particular laptop. Of course, this is a 15 inch device, it comes with a 15.6 inch screen, so it's pretty heavy, about 2.7 kilos, which is about 5.8 pounds, something like this. It's not very slim, it's not very um, light either. It measures about 1.2 inches in thickness, so it's not really that bulky, it's not really slim either. Uh, the exterior is uh, covered in aluminum, so there's an br a brushed aluminum uh, plating over here. You have the Dell logo on it and there's also a lot of made plastic. Uh, These uh, gray areas, they're made from this smooth rubbery plastic here and uh, on this uh, front side of the lid cover. And um, on the back you still have the plastic. It's not really the most beautiful finishing here with this uh, aluminum uh, silver sides and the plastic black black, uh, black middle but at least you can remove this panel it's quite easy to remove it and you're going to get access to the internals you have the speakers here there's one on each side one here one over here and the battery over here on the back it's a 48 watt hour battery a 6 cell battery it's gonna push this laptop for about two hours now let's have a quick look at the sides and what we have here on this part you have the PSU you have the VGA output the cooling grid, HDMI, HDMI, two USB ports, microphone and headphone. And on the front, notice that the front is covered in the same smooth plastic and it feels nice and it, it looks quite solid. You have the status LEDs over here, you have the SD card reader here, and on this other side uh, we have uh, an express slot card over here, the optical union unit, which in this case it's a DVD writer. You have another two USBs and the LAN adapter. And it's quite uh, nice that on this part all the ports are placed towards the bottom, which means that um, if you're going to use a mouse, you can place it, place the computer on the desk, and you can have a mouse here in this part on the right, which is actually quite interesting. Opening the lid, you'll also notice that the interior is made from the same gray plastic. It's rubbery, like I said, it feels very good and it won't catch fingerprints or smudges. There's a vast uh, palm rest over here and uh, the same finish is used for the screen's bezel. Talking about the screen, we have a 15.6 inch panel here with uh, a matte finish, so it's a non glare screen and then a very nice resolution. It's actually full HD, 1920 by 1080 and uh, the colors, as you can see, they're actually quite good. I'm not really sure if this is an extended gamut uh, display, like the one we saw on the ASUS N56 or not, but uh, definitely the screen is very good. And the viewing angles, they're good as well. It's not an IPS panel, it's a TN panel, so if you're going to lean it on the back, you're going to see the colors fading but uh, overall it's quite a very good screen. Now let's focus a bit on the keyboard and uh, you notice that uh, we don't have a numpad but uh, because of that there's plenty of space to put this big keyboard here, big keys properly spaced and of course uh, you have a proper size enter over here, proper size arrow keys, proper size shift as well over here and uh, overall the keys are quite uh, quite good. It, this is not a backlit keyboard but there is an option for a backlit keyboard as well. You're going to notice that it's very quiet and there's very little flex when placing it even here in the middle. Uh, overall the keyboard is accurate and uh, even the space is one of the best I've seen so far. As for the trackpad, it's wide. You can see that we have plenty of space here for multi-touch gestures which uh, aren't always working but uh, overall it's uh, it's quite accurate and it's smooth and you have dedicated click buttons which is something I like fairly easy to press and not at all noisy 
you also have a fingerprint reader over here and on top you have three dedicated buttons you can customize while on this other part there is the power button and that's pretty much all of course on top of the screen you're going to have the webcam it's an HD webcam which will be quite good for your chatting with your friends or your Skype conferences and stuff like this Let's talk about uh, the performances of this laptop a bit. Like I said, this is the most powerful configuration and uh, it comes with, let me see, it's a Core i7 processor, 3612QM, uh, so it's part of the Ivy Bridge uh, platform, 4GB of RAM uh, and uh, it comes with uh, hybrid graphics uh, besides the integrated graphics from the Intel chip. Uh, you also get uh, AMD 7670 uh, chip which is not really a very powerful uh, graphic uh, card that's comparable to the Nvidia 630 so it's pretty much mainstream chip um, but uh, in terms of performances this is going to be very fast I'm going to show you a couple of benchmark results for instance in Windows you have, have a 5.9 Windows rating let me see if you can zoom in here so 5.9 Windows rating in uh, Windows 7 and what else do we have here you have a P5500 uh, score in 3D Mark Vantage performance and um, you also have nearly 3000 points in PC Mark 07 but uh, more details about this will be available in the written review and uh, the description for the written review is below um, there's a link just click it go on micsquarter.com and speaking about that, let's go ahead and load the browser and let's go on micsquarter.com. This is the website and I'm going to show you that you can use the trackpad to two finger scroll. We're, use, we're doing it right now. Unfortunately, two finger pinch to zoom doesn't seem to be working. But uh, still, this is a very good trackpad. You can see that I'm moving the cursor around and it's very accurate and overall the computer is going to be very fast YouTube it's, it's not going to be a problem and of course if you want to uh, I don't know watch a bunch of different types of clips we have here the this the 40 megabits 1080p MKV and it should be uh, able to play this without a problem okay so it's working and let's go ahead and turn on the speakers as well and once again I'm going to notice the viewing angles they fade a bit when you turn the screen towards the back but uh, once you set it right it's going to be quite good now uh, I'm also going to show you a couple of games we don't have that many just two games uh, so you see that you can actually play some titles on this one despite uh, not being a very powerful device in terms of graphics so not really a gaming laptop the first game we're seeing here it's uh, black ops and uh, these are the settings let me just quickly show you show them to you it's uh, 1920 by uh, 1080 pixels so it's native resolution with uh, normal texture quality and uh, the game is playable at this resolution but of course if you want more frames per second you should probably go, just go ahead and uh, turn down the resolution a little bit because right now you can see that we only have about 30 frames per second which is not bad but it's not that good either So the game is playable. Got about about 20 frames per second here, which is actually quite good. Okay, so that was the first game. I'm going to show you another one. You hear that? That's the cooling system. But we're going to talk about it in just a couple of seconds. The second game we're trying here it's Dirt Free, and we're once again on the Full HD resolution with details set to medium and uh, the game is once again playable. You can see that we have an average of up to 30 frames per second which is actually quite uh, quite good 
and uh, we have a very smooth game over here. So bottom point, while this uh, laptop is not really meant for gaming, it uh, will be able to uh, run this, some of the basic titles and uh, for the newer one you might still be able to play them as long as uh, you're going to trim down the details and the resolution. You probably noticed that during uh, our games, but you're going to uh, hear it now as well. This computer has quite uh, quite some noisy fans, and uh, because of that, uh, your experience might uh, not be that pleasant. Um, when playing games, we're running other uh, intensive applications. Uh, the cooling fans will be loud, and even so, this part over here, and especially the part uh, beneath where the cooling grid is placed, will get quite hot. The good news is that the palm rest and even the keyboard area won't really get that hot. This part will get a bit warm when playing games, but it's not uh, really something you would be bothered of. Uh, one more thing, uh, one more thing I wanted to to say here. Uh, we should talk about the prices. Now, the Vostro, this uh, series starts at uh, 5.99, and for that you're only going to get a Core i3 uh, processor with 4 GB of RAM and a 320 GB hard drive. If you want the top configuration, like this one with the Core i7 quad-core processor uh, built on Ivy Bridge platform with the uh, dedicated graphic chips from AMD and with uh, the bigger storage, uh, uh, of course, with illuminated keyboard, like I said, which is an option, the full HD screen and some extra warranty, this can easily go to 1500 right now. And for this kind of money, I wouldn't really buy such a computer. It's expensive, considering that uh, you can get better for less, it's not probably something I would advise towards. But uh, still, it's a good laptop, it has plenty of uh, interesting fa uh, things about it. Uh, the keyboard is very nice, the trackpad is good as well, overall build quality, the screen, and uh, the laptop is quite powerful. The only issues I have with it, the cloud cooling fan, and of course, the price tag. Alright, that was it for now, that was the video review for the Dell Vostro 3560, the new business laptop um, targeted towards small and medium business owners, launched by Dell right now in 2012. For more details, you should uh, leave a comment if you have a question or anything like this. And of course, uh, go on the site on mikesquarter.com. In the description below, there is a link towards the written review. Go there, read, what, uh, read the review and uh, post your comments if you have any on this laptop or on any others. Okay, that is for now. That was the video review for the Dell Vostro 3560. Uh, don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like what we're doing here. Thanks.